All right, all. So a uh, little bit of a different project. We pulled the toolbox that goes in the front of the bed, or the back of the bed, out. Picked these up. And I'm kind of turning the truck into a service-ish truck. So we're going to grind these down with the, uh, with the wire wheel, paint them flat black, stick them on the truck. And yeah, Cheyenne and Mike are going to do a dump run. Brett and I are going to paint and such. Willie's here picking up metal. Shelby's out here helping. Let's go. All right, guys. So like I said, we're just going to take the, the grinder with the brush uh, side on it. Can't even talk today. And uh, Brent's going to go ahead and take care of this. That's all I'm going to do. Just rough it up a little bit, get some of the corrosion crap off it. And then we'll shoot it when it's all cleaned up. Alright, as you can see, we got every side done. We just did a quick scuff. Now we gotta wait for the paper towels because they're in the truck. <sighs> yep, so we'll bring you back here in a couple minutes. Alright, so uh, neighbor had some. Uh, I'm just gonna have Brent. Some paper towels, there we go. Just gonna have Brent. Uh... Wait, you're just gonna me do it? Well, I'll do it in a second, I guess. <laughs> I was just. Trying to go fast. We don't have a lot of time today, guys. We have uh, Brent and I have a concert to go to tonight. We're going to Wallflowers. It'll be my first concert in ten plus years, probably close to fifteen years. Uh, what was the last thing you went to? Uh, Leonard Skinner, I believe. Where was that? That was at Meadowbrook in I want to say something like '08. So, yeah, it probably is. So, uh, him and I have a concert to get to. It's actually downtown at the Colonial Theater tonight. Um, I don't know if we're going to finish this project today or not, but we're going to sure try. Uh, it's just shredding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure it is. Just watch the holes. And, uh, you know, with my anxiety issues, I haven't been able to go to a concert in a very, very, very long time. And I'm going to give it a shot tonight. I'm not promising anything. But I'm gonna give it a shot. A dish rag probably would work better. If we have a dish rag, I don't care. Yeah. So yeah. he's gonna get a dish rag. So easy. What'd you Brake triple? Line. Brake line. We should probably move that. So you guys know with my anxiety, most of you guys know. If you're if you're new to the channel, there is a video trying to explain my agoraphobia and my panic disorder. Um, but I've been getting out a lot. And uh, yeah, so. Things are things are going very well, and uh, you know I, I am working a little bit here and there. That's why we're trying to turn this truck into a, a bit of a service truck. Nothing, you know, huge. I'm not going to put all my tools in there, but I'm going to put the basics uh, so I can I can do little stuff. Um, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and wipe this down as soon as it gets back out here. Let it dry for a minute. I got this cheapo stuff you get at uh, AutoZone it was like eight dollars or something um, says it's UV resistant fade resistant doesn't peel blah 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 I don't believe it not even the Raptor liner is sticking to to this black box down here and we we cleaned that one really well like 100% went through that uh, I even degreased it with brake clean and then I used the, the spray away it was uh it was very clean and very prepped and it still isn't holding as you can see down there so i don't have very big high hopes for this i just want this to kind of match the truck and my style so all right i'm gonna stop rambling guys and we're gonna get to it and i'll i'll bring it back when i start painting it always make sure you move stuff when you go to spray it guys you don't want to uh you don't want to paint around stuff that you like this is bob's new car so yeah, no, they're not straight. Nope. There you go. 
All right, I'm gonna get the paint. It is not perfect painting weather by any means, but it still is above 50. So let's see. You just want to have a tack coat to be your first coat, guys. Really hard to get everything right now because it's windy. Here, you hold the camera. We never dried off the bottom. We never touched the bottom. You see? Oh, right. Yeah. Hold the rag. Yeah. Hold the rag over there. Yeah, hold on. I figured I'd pick this stuff up. So much for having paper towels. I don't know. They just unraveled everywhere. They're so useful. Come on, wind. Perfect day to paint. Should I take off my jacket? Why? I don't want spray paint on it. I think it's spray paint on it. Why would you spray paint on it? I don't know, because of the wind. You're fine. <clears throat> okay. It's so hard to decipher <laughs> if I'm far enough away to begin with, because it's so windy. This is not your cover coat. This is just a first coat? This is just a tack coat. What's a tack coat? It's a thin layer. It is so hard to decipher if I'm spraying enough or too little because of the wind. I am the human tripod. Brand is a tripod. What? I said brand is a tripod. I hope we got enough damn paint. You don't think two cans would be enough? I mean, I think, I thought so, but. Did you already use a can? No. Oh. How would I use a can already, buddy? I don't know, because one's just laying on the ground over there. Yeah, it fell into the car before it grew. Oh, <laughs> that could have been bad. No, I knew it was. What was saying if it got under the tire? I knew what it was. Okay. Come on, wind. Give me five minutes. It's not going It was just nice out. I mean, oh. the, the sun's out for a tiny bit of time. Welcome to New Hampshire. Yep, look at that. <clears throat> if you look at this long enough, you'll lose your mind. OCD? I don't know. Want me to do it? No. Why? I want to spray paint. I love paint. Can I? Maybe the next one. I want to turn. I can't get a decent layer on. How much darker that layer is than everywhere else? No, because I'm holding it closer. I'm trying not to waste it. Alright guys, so you get the idea. Bring you back on the second coat in about 10 minutes or so. Alright guys, uh, we're, we're painting. You know, we've done... I did a second coat, kind of a third coat. These, these cans don't last long at all. Just did a heavy coat on the top and a little bit of the front side there um but it's starting to rain off and on i ain't got time for this crap i gotta paint no matter what hopefully it looks okay and these are just toolboxes anyhow so here we go All right, all, uh, we got this all painted. I didn't bring you along because, you know, it's just literally painting. That's not a two by four, bro. It's probably not enough. Uh, Brent's looking for a two by four because we're gonna have to make a couple of legs for it to sit in the bed. We still got that one to, to do. Uh, we're gonna do that one off camera, but we're gonna set this one in the truck in about five minutes here. Because like I said, I just painted the top. Um, now the paint job, as you'll notice, is not perfect, but it does look fairly decent. We got the truck sitting here. We're gonna start rocking and rolling with that here pretty soon. Yeah, like I said, we got we got we got stuff to do. We need a two by four. N no, no, it won't. All right, we'll go get a two by four.
Do you need it all the way down there? I'm trying to figure out where the best spot's gonna be. I mean the grinder. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, let's bring it down here. Uh, kind of see the idea we got going on. I'm going to cut up two by four. Uh, I'm going to do two of them for legs on the back of that at 19 long, and we're going to screw them in. And hopefully things will be a-okay. Oh, we have two batteries now, bro. I know. Whoa! You know what really sucks? I lost my marker the other day. Yeah. I don't know where. Yeah, it does suck. It's all right. Just use this. I zip. I. Paint was coming off onto my hand. I don't know. Sure. Paint's not coming off. There's a little paint on my finger. Better's almost dead. All right, as you guys could see. Kind of, sort of, into place where I think I want it. What I want to do is I want to lob this off right here. This thing broke my window this year because there's no support. I'm going to cut that here, unbolt it, slide that, bolt this thing down, and then I'm going to take the welder. I'm going to weld this piece to here. So it'll hopefully stabilize it. I'm going to do the same on the other side. All right, all. Um, so I threw some self tappers to hold that up. As you can see, it's held, but it's not great. This is the angles that I came up with, and I'm gonna change where I'm gonna put them because they're kind of sort of out of the way a little bit more. I can sit it in there and screw it up there, and I can set a couple of screws through here. And so there'll be one, two, and I might put a third there. We got the drill. We're gonna drill. Some hole. Actually, I think it has a couple of holes already in this, but we've got to go through this. Set some bolts down in, and then this side should be okay and square. And yeah, we'll be able to start putting stuff in this one. We still got to get to the other one. We might not do that today. I don't know. All right, so that's what we come up with. That one's at an angle. That one's straight. Uh, they're just supports. I'm going to go ahead and drill through that into the rails, bolt it down, and we'll see how wibbly wobbly it is now. Yes, son. If you have a seatbelt, can you sit in the bed of a truck? I don't know in New Hampshire. 18, I think you can drive back here. Let me know. All right, all, we've bolted it in. Did some self tappers too, but it's bolted in. I mean, it's got some movement. We're thinking about um, over here. We could take a, I have a bed frame out back that I could paint black, go from like here all the way to the other side, and that would stabilize it if we have any problems, which I don't imagine we're gonna. It's really, it's not bad. It's not that bad. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, it's gonna serve a purpose. And 
I have some of these mats that the place I'm working at gave me to lay on. Well, I'm a little bit larger than that. And one of the mats is actually really good to lay on. I think that, I think I'm gonna cut those and put that on the, on the floor of it. So my tools don't go flying all over the place. Cut pretty easy, it's nice thick rubber. And I could always take them out if I need something to lay on. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do that. Brent's gonna go ahead and start grinding that one so I can get to painting it. And then we're gonna install that. Hopefully it doesn't take as long because once again, we got a concert to get to. And I wanna clean up and such before, before then. But I want this done today because I have another job coming in tomorrow. So, hey, that's not working. <laughs> All right, we'll get back at you guys. He was admiring his, his bike, his e-bike that he just got back from the unicycles or whatever they're called downtown. MC Cycles. MC Cycles. We're doing a shout out apparently. And it needed brakes and stuff like that and tune up. All right, we're gonna go get to working on that. All right, that one's all cleaned up, ground down. And we are now on the first coat. Got a different it's a rust-oleum. It's got some weird tip things. I'll let you know how that does. Alright, rain is really slowing me down. I just want to finish this, guys. All I want to do is finish this damn thing. Second coat's on it. Not really a fan of that new paint. I mean, it, it lays down okay, but the can wasn't working to begin with. It's a rust-oleum. It's got the knob on it where you can change the, the fan. Yeah, I'm sure I'd be all right if I wasn't in a rush and I could play with the thing and make it look better and whatnot. I'm hoping this box dries the same flat black as that because that's what the can says is flat black. I don't know. I'm going to let this flash off. Hopefully it dries here pretty quick. Flip it over, do the top side, and start mounting the box. It's about 4 o'clock, so we're cutting it kind of close here. Recording. All right, guys. This is what's come out of that box, the uh, the old box we had going that way. You know, we got straps, we got tow bar, we got the tow strap, we got chains, we got some uh, fluids. I I'm really gonna like this. I'm really gonna like this a lot because this is more accessible. That is quite floppy. We're probably gonna have to run a bar. It's it's kind of cold out here now, and uh, I'm a little afraid we're not gonna get to finishing this up today. But uh, we will finish it, and we'll show you guys when we're done. But it, the paint's just not not curing fast enough. So this is where we got, and this is the basically the uh, the end goal. Except the other side is going to have tools. We'll put these tools in it, and this will just be kind of like a collect all drunk drawer kind of thing. You know, kind of like that one was, but I couldn't lock that. So I didn't put anything massively important in it. I have to say something. Shoot. Is the drawer the one that's drunk, or do you get drunk from the drawer? Junk. <laughs> I know I that's what you meant. What are you talking about? It's junk drawer. <laughs> you said drunk drawer. No, I said junk. Uh, we'll have to replay the recording. Yeah, that's why we record things, guys. <laughs> so that's going to basically do it for, for us right now. Uh, we'll show you when we finish this up, because it'll probably just be another day when I have 20 minutes to try and mount that but I'm gonna go ahead and spray that the rest of the way if you want to show them that's what we got done yeah we've sprayed everything paint, with the top this other rust-oleum paint if you want to show them that it seems like it does okay but it doesn't it doesn't cure as fast as, uh, as what the other one this did, is what so. we had before well, that's, that's gonna be about it once again we're going to see the wallflowers tonight maybe I'll put in a blip it there all right yeah say it what? Say it. Well, I can't say it yet because we're not done with the video. Oh, okay. See you guys in a little while.
Thanks, dude. Yeah. Did you have fun listening, though? Yeah. Ready to go to bed now? Let's go play video games. That was an experience, guys. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we installed the box today. It was actually quite a beautiful day earlier. Uh, Sunday, day after the concert, gotta tell you guys, I had some anxiety, but I pushed through it and I ended up going to the concert. Um, some of you guys are on my my Facebook. And uh, yeah, so I'm sure you saw the picture from Brett and I last night, but we had a great time and uh, I plan on doing it again. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed getting back out in the world and, and having some fun. Uh, but with that being said, this is what we've come up with for now. I do have to go to the yard tomorrow, to the landscaping yard, and work on a truck that's been off the road for a while. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring you along for that. If you want me to, put some, uh, put some comments down, because this video is probably going to come out today, Sunday, probably this evening. Um, so you can see we got the super clean, super clean awesome sponsors we absolutely love them they have some great products if you haven't had the chance to check them out do so now that being said i am behind in things i need to do i have a super clean giveaway that i need to do and i need to figure out a video to do it in so we've got henry obviously i've been cleaning henry every single storm um as you can see, very little sand at all. I try and I try and make sure I get up in and clean all this. Even though this bed is rusting, I would like to try and keep it as long as possible, and at least until I find the the box that I want for this. Uh, and you know, we did the the rockers and stuff. So, um, we need to make a super clean video. I would like to hear how you guys would like to it to be done i'd love to get some comments going uh what kind of giveaway you'd like what you guys will get is uh i believe a a spray bottle of super clean i believe the um aerosol version and possibly some of their kitty litter formula to to pick up spills and such i am behind in that i do need to get it done would love to hear how you guys wanna wanna go about that. Uh, but with that being said, with that being said, it is starting to rain. We just got back. Kids are going out to dinner with Brittany. Brittany is doing very well. Eh. Uh, Bob is doing very well, as you guys know. We appreciate everybody that that sent prayers this way, in their way, in their recovery. It was a long one for both of them, but they're doing very well. Um, Come on, lock for me. And, uh, yeah, so they're doing very good. The kids are doing good. Cheyenne's graduating soon. They both will be getting their license in the springtime. Uh, uh, sorry, fall time. In the fall, they're going to go get their license. I can't get the damn key out, guys. I can't pay attention. I'm going to stop doing that. So uh, they're both getting their licenses soon. We still got to get back on Brent's. As you can see, we still have the dump truck here. I got to do the oil change. Uh, the nut was stripped, so I had to order some some uh, some turbo sockets, as you will. And uh, I'll get on that tomorrow morning. But I do have their their other truck. They call it the mow truck because it, it's the one that pulls the the mowing equipment and whatnot. So uh, that's gonna do it for us. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you all the new subscribers and all the ogs i appreciate every single comment that i get from you you don't understand guys it keeps me going because some days when you're getting you know 150 views per video or even 60 it's like is this even worth it but you know what it is because i enjoy it i enjoy it and you guys keep telling me that, that you enjoy it so maybe one day other people enjoy it too so with that being said i'm out of here it's raining i'm going inside have a great sunday Remember to always like, share, subscribe, or don't.